Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adventure Day Quest Calendar from Sundial Games 2024's The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, remember to don't forget to like the videos as it helps our small channel grow. And if you want to know when more of these videos come out, don't forget to subscribe as it'll give you and it'll let you, it'll just let you know whenever we drop a new video. And uh, also, we're trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year and I, I know we can do it. It's still pretty early and we're pretty well off on our way. So thank you all who have already liked and subscribed. You guys are amazing and everyone who haven't, well, you guys are great too in your own special way. Uh, if you missed out on yesterday's adventure, uh, we walked around the shops to help prepare for our little excursion that we're gonna be doing into the woods. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens today. So for today, a Wednesday, Oh, speaking of D&D, &D, tonight is D&D, &D, uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Catch us live on Twitch, uh, Parkless on Twitch. So, yeah, that'll be awesome. Hope to see you there. But for today, Wednesday, you walk by a recruitment office where some willing critters for hire approach to ask if you need any hired hands. Pay to recruit any that you can afford. You will head to the bug trainers next and may want to save some amber for another recruit. All right, these guys are expensive. Oh my goodness. Plus, wait, heal one. So the, the bard can just heal me? That actually might be huge if I get hearts. Uh, oh, they got bug tamer. Archers, this archer has bug tamer. Um, ooh, this is a tough call, everyone. Tough call. The Bard has four health, though, so he's going to be a hard one to kill. He's expensive, but he's probably worth it. Problem is, we do we have Persuasive? No, we have Intimidating. Um, Arcane Adept is nice. These are all nice. Bug Tamer would have helped us out a lot early on. Um, oh, man, that heal one looks pretty nice, though. That only brings down to 12 Amber. I don't know. Um, you know what? Let's get the bard. I, I, I'm kind of digging the bard. That's 20. Yeah, we'll get the bard. Because persuasive... Oh, there's... Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Plus one attack. At heal one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's do it. Down to 12 amber big purchase he better be worth it man all right party member let's go ahead and get the bard there we go boom yeah plus wait plus one to heal lean um actually you know what no i'm gonna i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna get the archer i like i like the archer better so let's gain, let's get eight amber back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will go ahead and switch this guy out. We'll replace him. Yeah, we're going to get the archer. I, I'm thinking about it. Bug tamer plus attack. Sounds pretty good. Where is he? There you are. He only has two health, but yeah, bug tamer plus attack is pretty good. The problem is these are real. The reason why these are nice is because they have complementary abilities where this one has um, non complementary So it's all right. Yeah. Uh, and I'll read in case you don't know how party members work. Here we go. Party members can give your hero access to abilities they might not know or grant an additional bonus if the skill is already known. They may also provide perks like improved attack damage or healing capabilities. You will need to pay an initial fee to hire the party member, then assign them to an open slot in your party. See the party sheet of the hero book or download it from the website, sundialgames.com. Heroes will remain in your party until their health is reduced to zero or you switch them out on a rest. You can have a max of five large party members and five small pet bugs. Like your hero, party members can be healed with a healing potion, a hero ability, or upon a rest. Party members that can heal can only use their healing powers on the hero. Uh, to use one of their abilities, you'll need 
any deck of playing cards. Shuffle the deck of cards once uh, for the page, keeping the jokers in the deck. Identify which party member you wish to use the ability of. Each party member can only be used once per page, and each ability can only be triggered once per page. Draw a random card from the deck of cards and compare it to the party member's abilities. The ability is activated if a card matches the required suit and is equal to or more than the ability's target number. Some skills only need a card to match the suit to trigger. For example, a club or spade may trigger the monk's athlete ability. If you didn't draw a club or spade, the ability did not trigger. If you did, you gain a plus two for your roll if the athlete ability applies. Some skills may also require the number on the card to be higher than the target number. For example, a monk can grant a plus one to defense roll if the suit of, is a diamond and the number is seven or more. Damage the party member. If you draw a face card, jack, queen, king, or joker of any suit, reduce their health by one. Face cards also act as a 10 plus and can trigger abilities. Jokers act as both suits. A red joker is both a heart and a diamond. A black joker is both a club and a spade. If the party member's health is reduced to zero, they are dead and are removed from your party. So that is it for today. Tomorrow, it sounds like we're going to the Bug Tamer. Uh, check us out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know down below how your adventure is going. Or if you think I made the wrong call getting the archer over the bard. Until next time, thank you all for joining us. And as always, stay safe out there.